Do you want to use data from the internet or other sources and either get notified of new data or manipulate it in some way? In this video, we're going to have a look at Power Automate. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Power Automate is part of the Power Platform, which includes Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and Power Virtual Agents, among other things. Power Automate is like an ETL tool, an Extract, Transform, and Load, except it can do things like Extract, Transform, and Notify, of course, in the case of the email. So suppose that you wanted to find something on Twitter and be notified every day of new postings to a certain keyword. Or maybe every time somebody added something to a SharePoint list, you wanted some action to be made. For instance, maybe a reminder in Outlook to be added. Or maybe you want something that can be run on your timetable when you say run now. Well, Power Automate can do all of those. Now let's just have a brief look at the pricing. For a per user pricing, you can get this for $15 per user per month. Now there are more advanced plans that you can upgrade to, but until you need them, you are better off just sticking with the per user plan. Alternatively, if this is for your own personal needs, you can have a look at the Power Apps Developer Plan, where you can get a free developer environment for Power Apps and Power Automate. And it's very simple to get started with. So if I go into the Power Automate, then I can go to Create on the left hand side. And I can say I want to create something triggered by a particular event. So as I said, this could be when a file gets uploaded to OneDrive or when something happens in Azure. There is an instant cloud flow. This is also known as a button cloud flow. So you press a button and it happens or a scheduled cloud flow. So something that happens every hour, every minute, every day. There are other cloud flows as well. If you have a look at the templates, you can see the sort of things that you can do with Power Automate. So for example, post weather updates to a Yammer group every day. Get daily reminders for your Outlook.com email. Those are examples of scheduled flaws. Examples of automated flaws. Cross post new items on a feed, such as a blog feed, an RAS feed, to Blogger. Or if I scroll down, move documents between SharePoint libraries based on a certain condition. And then you've got instant flaws, like for instance, add an item to SharePoint and send an email. Or you can have flaws which are being triggered from Power Apps. Now, Power Automate flaws start with a trigger. Why are they going to run? In the case of an automated flaw, they would run based on a connector. And here you can see an example of some of the connectors. For example, Office 365 Outlook, SharePoint, Microsoft Dataverse, Microsoft Teams, and more. Now, if you do start with any of these templates, you can just click on one and you can see what is required. So in this particular case, we need a connection to Office 365 Outlook and to Azure DevOps. And here you'd be invited to sign in. Alternatively, you can create from blank. So I'll go to create, select what type of trigger I want. So let's say I wanted an automated cloud flow. So this is one which is going to be based on the Dataverse, which is the online database as part of the Power Platform. So when a row is added, modified or deleted. So if I click create on this, here we can see our initial trigger. So I can look and say when something happens to a table, so when a row is added, deleted, or modified, I can choose the table name and who is it that is adding this. So myself or the entire business unit or the organization, when this happens. So a flow needs a trigger. So a trigger could be an instant trigger, so when I press a button, or a scheduled trigger every so often, or an automated or automatic trigger. So when this happens, then everything else that follows are actions, so do something. So I might want details saved in Excel online, or I might want it to be emailed to me, 
or I might want a notification. So here we can see an email and a mobile notification, for instance. And there are many more connectors that you can use. You can also use conditional logic. For example, you can have a loop or a condition. So if something, then do this, otherwise do something else. As long as you can have a list of what you want doing, then you'll probably find a way of being able to do it in Power Automate. Now, in addition to the online Power Automate, there is also a desktop version of Power Automate. And this is available if you've got Windows 10 or Windows 11, and you'll probably find it already installed on your computer if you've got Windows 11, just look for Power Automate. Now you would still need to log in, but once you've done that, we can create a new floor. So I can build a floor, I'll just say my floor name is YouTube, and then I can manipulate what is on my desktop or on the web. So here you can see in browser automation, I can launch a web browser, go to a particular page, and then extract data from that web page. Alternatively, I can open up Excel and I can read and write to Excel and save things in a database or retrieve or send emails. So all of this is available on your desktop. You can also go through various folders, creating folders or going through each file you've got there. Maybe moving them, renaming them in accordance with some predetermined naming system. So Power Automate, if you have got repetitive actions, then either Power Automate on the web or Power Automate for desktop can do this for you. And it's fairly cheap, as I say, $15 per user per month. So just imagine if you've got a moderate sized organization, you probably wouldn't need that many users. They would set up the floors and then they will just say start and they'll monitor them as needed. And if what you want to do is learn about Power Automate and Power Apps, then why not have a look at the Power Apps Developer Plan, which is completely free. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not like it? Why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified about any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Why not have a look at my channel for any other videos that you might find interesting? Thank you very much for watching this and keep learning.